Hey there, welcome back. I'm Mark and I'll be showing you how to draw a Christmas pug. So he's gonna have some reindeer antlers and some globes like decorations hanging from those. So this is gonna be a really fun video. All you need for it is a piece of paper, pencil, some markers. Now, if I'm going a little bit too fast for you, it's okay. Just hit that pause button. And then when you're ready to continue, just hit the play button. Don't forget to watch the end of the video when I color in this Christmas pug. It's really cool and you don't wanna miss it. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna draw this little elliptical shape down here like this. Maybe it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit wider. Yeah, let's do a little bit wider like this. All right, then at the top here in the middle, we'll draw a smaller shape. This will be the nose. So we're gonna have like this elliptical shape up here. Then we can cut this in half with a line straight down. And then as we pass the nose and get to this section here, we can create this like arch that comes down like this on both sides. And what we wanna do there is we wanna round, go off of that outer elliptical shape. We can extend past it and then come up and meet back up. So we'll kind of extend here. So this will be like the lip that's like kind of hanging over the face, over the bottom lip. And then the bottom lip will be right here, just tucked in a little bit. Then we can create little nostrils. So I'm gonna create almost like the number seven shape like that and then the opposite on the other side okay there we go so we have the nose in place now we can create an arch from right over here we we'll just come we'll follow this shape all the way to the other side then over here we want to draw one of the eyes so I'm just going to draw this circular shape like that, and it's gonna cut into this shape here. So it's gonna be not a full circle. But then draw the other one on the other side like this. So we'll draw, try to get that about the same size on the other side. Then inside of this, we'll draw a smaller circle. And we'll probably see the whole circle at this point because it's smaller and it's not hitting that shape right here. Then you can create these highlights. So I'll just create one, two little highlights like that. Okay, now come from the center here, we'll leave this gap and then we'll just draw a little line right there. We'll come up. Okay, so that's gonna be the center. And then we're gonna have a curve over here to the left and a curve over to the right just like this okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a little shape and this is more like an elliptical shape we're going to do this around the eye so we're going to come like this so this elliptical shape is almost like you get a line this direction it's it's kind of narrow here. This is the longest part and this is the shortest part. So we'll just do a shape like that and we'll try to draw the same on this side. So if your lips is like that, you'll kind of come up from here, go around, and just have like this outer shape like that around the eye, okay? Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a little curve right over the eye like this so this is going to be this bend shape like that and we'll do the same over here do one right like that okay now i'm going to draw a line for to kind of make this head shape so we're going to come right about here and we're just going to do a curve like that. So this will be the top of the head right about there. So if this is the center, all right, you want to have the equal line on both sides. Okay. Then we'll draw this antler. So we'll draw a curve like this 
and then we'll come up over to the left like that. And then before we finish the rest of that antler, let's finish the rest of the dog's head. So we'll do another one on this side. We'll do another antler here and we'll have this pointing to the right, okay? Then we're gonna come from this antler, we're gonna come down a little bit and then we're gonna do the ear. So the ear is gonna miss the eye. We wanna be away from that eye. So we're gonna come down like that, okay? And then right where the nose is, right about at the bottom of that nose, somewhere about there, doesn't matter if you're exact or off a little bit, you're gonna come over to the left, kind of like up and over to the left. And then we're, we're gonna to wanna to meet back right about here. So we're gonna curve this, and then we're gonna curve it again like that. And then we'll just do the same on the right side. Then let's finish off the lower part of the head. We'll do the cheek area here. So we'll curve this, okay, in inward. So we'll curve that in. And right where the bottom of the lip is, okay, right about here, we're gonna wanna bend this outward. So we're gonna create this outward shape like this, so like the fold in the skin. So we're gonna bend that like this, and then we'll round this like that. And then if you wanna do another bend, we can do that. Because pugs have a lot of like folded skin. And we can do that. We'll just leave the bottom. We don't need to finish the, the rest of it. Okay, now working our way back up, let's finish these antlers. So I'm gonna draw a little antler shape over in this direction. And then my antler is gonna be bent to the left like that. And then it's gonna be bent up again. Maybe there's like a little bump over here, be bent up. And then it'll be split up here like that. Okay, then we'll do the same on this side. So we'll just match these as best we can. We'll try to mirror these in the same way, okay? Remember, if you're off a little bit, it's okay. As long as you're kind of close, it doesn't really matter, guys. Just have some fun drawing this with me. All right, so we have our antlers in place. Now we can add some Christmas bulbs, some decorations. So I'm just gonna draw a big circle right about here. And this is gonna kind of go over my antler. Now, if you have a circle template, go grab that, because that'll be super easy. Then over here, you can just grab a little rectangular shape like that and then you'll have this ring coming out from it. Okay, this is kind of just hanging there. And then we'll put this highlight afterwards, but we'll do a couple more. Let's do another one hanging right about here. Now I'm gonna grab my circle template because I want these to all be the same size. But again, you can just do these all freehand. So. I'll just grab my circle template and I'm gonna put a few bulbs in just to make my life a lot easier. Okay, so I'll put a couple there and then I'll do the same on this side. Let's put one here. One's gonna be dangling about here. And I'll put another one over here. Okay, then I'll draw my rectangle shapes at the top of each one of these bulbs. All right, and then I'll draw this ring that's kind of holding that bulb on. So we'll just draw this little circular shape above each of those rectangles.
and there's a string that's holding these all on. So just draw a straight line up and that's going to be holding all of our bulbs on the reindeer's antlers. And the last thing we need to do is we can draw the little highlight on our bulb. So I'm just going to draw a little shape over here and then a smaller one. I'm going to do those same shapes on all of these Christmas bulbs. All right, guys, the next thing I'm going to do is use my ink pen and ink my entire drawing. The next thing I'll do is I'll use my eraser and I'll gently erase all of my pencil lines. That way I can get rid of all those guidelines and all the pencil lines that went through other objects. And this will clean up the drawing enough for me to do a nice coloring over top. If yours didn't turn out like mine, it's okay guys, don't worry. Just head on down to the description, click the link, download the coloring page. You can print that out and color this in with me just as I'm doing right now. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of me drawing a Christmas pug and coloring the little puppy in. If you like the video, please like it. Go down there and click that like button. And you're already there, so hit that subscribe button too. I do videos every weekday, and I don't want you to miss the next one. All right, until then, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.